I never thought that I wanted, or more importantly, needed a projector. Then a thought has crossed my mind that maybe a projector would be cool to use it somehow in photography or video to project to create digital backdrops with. Obviously, like a lot of people out there who are easily influenced, like me, by TikTok shop cheap tart, I bought a couple of cheap ones. None of them were good enough for anything, never mind something that needed a bright and big display. And then I have seen someone showing off one of these. This is a premium high quality 4K projector from Xkimi called Horizon Pro. On paper it is more than good enough for what I wanted it for. It is capable of projecting 300 inch image in bright 4K resolution. But is it good enough for creating digital backdrops for photography or video with? In this video I will test that and more. Stay tuned. At home I don't have the wall big enough to use this properly, so I borrowed this place to use this massive wide wall. And let's see, let's set it, up, let's set it all up and see if this actually is gonna work as a digital background projector. I'm here with a model and dancer, Amy, who is going to pose for me today. Let's see if this works. For this shoot, I am using uh, these Zhiyun M20 CRGB lights and Lumix S52 camera with 50 millimeter f1.8 Lumix lens. I have never done anything like this before. This is my first time. So I need to experiment a little bit and see what works and what doesn't. After shooting a few first photos at one four hundredth of a second shutter speed, even though this gives me correctly exposed photos, this shutter speed is too fast for the projected image. It gives me weird color casts, changing the aperture to 1 50th of a second ISO, and ISO to 320 fixes this problem completely. The shutter speed needs to be the slowest possible for the backgrounds to look right. I am using multiple Zhiyun M20C lights and I control them by the app. The app gives me the chance to change the light temperature or color and brightness remotely, making it easier to manage them all quicker. I had to manipulate the light brightness and color as well as their position to match the look as much as possible to the projected image. If you know that the background is fake, you will overanalyze it too much for sure. It looks pretty good and realistic if you don't know. The fact that the background photo is very sharp and by having the right distance between the model and the background, I can create a depth of field and naturally blurred background to make it look more real. It blurs because I am shooting with a wide aperture f1.8. The final results look less fake when you can match the light on your subject, the light color and direction on the background projected photo. Bright daytime scenes are very difficult, if at all possible, to make look real. The amount of light needed to light the subject dilutes the projected background and the contrast. Maybe believable when viewed on a small screen on social media, but not brilliant. When choosing a nighttime scene, you need to match the light as close as possible, especially the light color. Small details like hair make it look more real. Using this method for video is even better and more versatile, and it is more practical. Works great not only for the background, but also for projecting the video onto your subject. With video, you can experiment more, and this process gives more realistic results than the green screen would do, and replacing it with something else in post-production. Even having the subject's shadow visible adds to the effect, making it look all more realistic. Using a projector like this to uh, project digital backgrounds might seem like an expensive solution for this because you could definitely you could use Photoshop and remove the background representing the photos, but that natural blur you get from the camera and the lens is very difficult to fake. And having that picture in the back bright enough and blurring it, that creating the depth of field with the camera definitely adds that that more realism to this to this fakery and it makes it more plausible that these pictures and the video shot this way is actually real. If you didn't know, as I said before, if you didn't know that this was faked, you probably wouldn't even question it. But you, because we do know, <laughs> you're watching this video, you know we faked the background, you might be a bit more picky. Uh, but as a work, you, you tell me in comments below if this actually work and this is actually, it could be a possible uh, solution for you, for you to use to be more creative with photography or video with. Come on, wave. <laughs> <laughs>
That's cool. <laughs> It is not a cheap projector. You get what you pay for though. Horizon Pro costs £1499 or $1199. But if you do this kind of photography and videography and creating this kind of digital backgrounds is something that you would do every day, in comparison to the price of cameras and lenses, photo video centering tools, it doesn't cost that much. It does also give you so much more, not just digital backdrops. You pay for the brightness and the picture quality and this projector doesn't disappoint. It is a smart projector, Android driven with Google Assistant built in and HDMI, USB and wireless connectivity. If you are a photographer and you were thinking of investing in something like this as a tool for digital backgrounds, you also have to remember what this is really meant for. You can connect the computer to it and project and even edit photos on a big screen, very big screen. Great for working with clients, for example, especially when combined with a laptop, but where it really shines is the movie watching its main purpose. Totally usable in daylight, very bright 2200 ANSI lumen and up to 300 inch giant screen display. There is intelligent technology built in which does automatic keystone correction, autofocusing and more. Built in Harman Kardon speakers, not only sounding really good for TV and movies, but the whole projector can be used as a Bluetooth speaker to play music from as well. Very sharp and vibrant 4K picture and very, very little latency. Approx 35 milliseconds, ideal for playing the games on it too. You have a Google Play Store and all the major streaming services apps available. No BBC iPlay, unfortunately, but Netflix and every other streaming service can be installed. It all works very well and with a picture this good, I'm totally hooked at using it for an entertainment too. My 50 inch TV just doesn't seem big enough anymore after using this. Even the remote controller screams quality. Good looking, well made, performing, extremely well device that is not only great for watching movies, playing games, but also as a professional display for a variety of professional purposes like digital backdrops, photo, video editing and more. If you are looking for a projector full stop, not just a tool for photography video usage, you should totally check out this Horizon Pro from Xkimi. Highly recommend it. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful and informative. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.